Hey guys, my name is Pierre from Can-Am, SpiderAccessories.com and welcome to the Spider Shop. I should say the new Spider Shop. So this is going to be the new setup for a lot of videos. I'm going to have the pleasure of doing my installs, a lot of them, on this beautiful vent pack, four post, uh, I was going to say car lift, but it's a spider lift. I will be doing a detailed video about the four post lift and how we've, you know, we're using it at Spider Shop. But as you can see, we can actually fit two Canon Spider or an F3 and a Riker at this time. And what we do is that, or what we did is that we homemade some of these bridges uh, that have 24 inches by about 40 inches to go on the inside. They're actually like on wheels, bearings, and they slide up and down and very lightweight so what we do is that when we bring in the first spider or riker we have the two bridges right here we take the one that's closest to the end we put that we lock the rear wheel and the front wheel will just roll so we just move it all the way up front and then if we go backwards with the second spider we'll you know use that bridge put the wheel wheel there lock it and then we can just slide it backwards and that wheel is always locked the front wheels don't lock so that's why we have the little wedges here to make sure everything is nice and secure and i gotta say i think i'm gonna enjoy working on this you know new workstation throughout the season we've got 12 foot high ceiling so we can actually bring the spiders all the way up and you know i'm almost six feet and i can actually get underneath there so when we do sway bars laser alignments or you know we we do um, skid plates or anything else like that well you know we'll just lift up the canm spiders in this video we're going to be doing the installation of the upper front drill for your f3 canm spider series now it doesn't fit on all the Can-Am Spider F3. I hear you saying, Pierre, I want this on my bike, but unfortunately it doesn't fit on the F3 base model because the grill is not the same. You don't have this piece, whether it's you know in chrome, black or gray, you just don't have this piece here. Your grill is actually all the way. You've got, instead of having like three steps, you got four of them and you don't have this bottom one here. So it's completely different. So this will not fit on the F3 base model or the sports grill, but it will fit on the F3S, F3T, and F3 Limited, all the way from, you know, from 2015 and up. First thing we're gonna do is you're gonna be using an impact drill or just a normal screwdriver with a torque 25 bit. You're gonna be removing the two little screws right here and the other ones that are right here. Take those out, the grill will just pop right off. There's a good chance that the four screws that you just remove actually stayed in the grill. They don't have a tendency to just pop right out. So I'll just go ahead and remove them so you don't lose anything and just put them aside. Get yourself a workstation ready with either a cardboard or maybe a blanket. Take over the grill to that workstation. We're going to be taking off this chrome piece right here. I want you to look on the inside of the grill. And you're going to have along this line here and along the top line right here, you're going to have five and five for a total of 10 torque 20 screws to remove. For this installation video, I chose a glossy black upper front grill with the Spider Rider in white. The way the upper front grill is going to be secured to the bike is, well, to the grill, the existing grill that you have is you have a lip right here. Turn that around. See that right there? So that lip is going to go on top of your grill, your full size grill. And we're only going to need one screw at this end and another one at the other end. There were two reasons that we remove this front grill. The first one was to remove this part, which we're actually replacing. And the other one is to pre-drill two little holes that are gonna facilitate, facilitate the insulation of that upper front grill. And the holes are gonna be right here. See that one there, yeah, that one there, that hole there. That hole on both sides. 
So I'm going to bring the camera really close to the front grille so you can see exactly where you need to pre-drill those two little holes. You're going to be using a 116 drill bit for this, okay? So it's not hard at all. Now, notice this is, this is the top hole where we remove the four screws. Remember, there was one here, one there. Same thing on the other side, right? And the hole where it's going to go, if you see that top hole where we remove that torque 25 bit, it gives you like a rectangular shape here. And have a look, about 3 16th of an inch from that corner there, and about 3 16th of an inch from the ledge that's there, this is where you're going to be drilling a hole. And you're going to do the same thing on this side here, right there. The reason that mine is already drilled and I'm not actually doing it on camera with you like I usually do is that during the invention of this grill, all the grills that we had have been drilled somewhere so we could find the perfect place to secure the upper front grill. Now that you've pre-drilled those two holes, we're simply going to take that grill back to the Can-Am Spider, use the four Torque 25 screws that you took out and secure the full grill back on the bike. Hello. <laughs> We're trying to fit my big head in this camera shot here. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, a little serious there. <laughs> okay, so you've got these four little spaces here, and you've got the female parts of this plastic at the back here. So when you're putting back the grill, you have to make sure that they go inside when you push, sometimes they'll go underneath. If you do that, the grill's not going to stay there properly. So you just want to push it upwards a little bit and make sure that all four of them, like this one here needs to go upwards, fit in correctly. And when you've done that, there we go. No, not yet. Yeah, when you've done that, if you let go of the grill, it's going to stay there. If the grill doesn't stay there, it's probably because you're underneath, there's a pressure that builds up, and it's going to push it on the outside. You're going to need the two screws that we've provided, and you're also going to need a screwdriver with a square head. It's actually the small one, Al's in Canada. It comes with the green, not the red, not the yellow, but it's the green. And uh, you want it as short as possible if you have one. The longer it is, the harder it is to screw in. And you don't want to go right through or slide to the side, and then you're going to scratch your front grill. So, one of the little things I've learned from all the time I've installed these, and trust me, with the 500 pictures that I've taken of all the different combinations, I've taken an on and off a lot of times, and that's why I use a short screwdriver. You tend to have more control over the screw as you're screwing it in. You see the ledge that you have here right at the top, and the lip that you have right here? You're simply going to lay it down right on top there. And if I put my finger right in the center here, it's just going to stay there because it's resting along the ledge. Now, you want to center the spider with the center of the bike, just like here. You want to make sure you have equal part on that side and that side. Then you want to take one of those screws that you have, and you're going to be using the last hole on this side and the last hole on the other side. And as you're pushing it in through that last hole, you'll notice that it's going to line up with that hole that you already pre-drilled there. You should be able to start it off, just like I am now, with your fingers. Just slowly line her up, and once you've done that, start screwing it in a couple of threads with your hand so it holds there. Then take your screwdriver, a short one like we said, and then give it one or two threads, and when you do that, Here's the really important part. You don't want that screw to go in straight from here, like in line with that headlight there. You want it to go on this angle, which is the same angle as that grill. Why? You want the screw, the head of the screw, to hit the surface on all sides of that grill. If you're going this way, it's going to hit on that one side first, and not the whole head is going to hit against the grill. It's not going to look good. So once you started a couple of screws, take your screwdriver and then go towards the left-hand side and just line up 
you know, with the angle of the grill. And then start screwing it in. It's just going to go right in. And you don't want to go too tight. You just want, when you start seeing a little bit of resistance and you see the grill move, you know, a little bit towards the inside, just a tiny bit, that's enough, no more than that. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Same thing, don't forget to turn the screw so that when it meets the grill, it hits it like all together. So you're going to have to turn the screw, you know, to screw towards the inside of the bike and not towards the back of the bike. As you can see, it looks beautiful. And the screw here, it hits it on all the sides of that screw, all the ledge, all touches. Same thing on this side. So that was the installation of the upper front grill for the F3 Can-Am Spider. Nice and easy. Now, there's a lot of combinations that can be made with the upper front grill. You can get it in multiple uh, different colors, about eight different colors. We have different colors for the letters as well. But you can also get the 18-piece set of polyurethane. So you can get a color match. You can make all kinds of crazy combinations. So where can you find all that stuff? Well, on CanAmSpiderAccessories.com. So if you have questions, phone number, telephone, uh, email, just give me a call communicate with us it'll be my pleasure to help you out uh, have a look at the website for all the different stuff that we offer and at the end of this video I'll just run some of the combinations that were our personal favorites so once again thank you very much for encouraging our little business and sharing our videos please subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment we love to hear back from you guys okay and yeah I hope you enjoyed the new look of the Canon spider shop take care guys bye